Welcome to a video on the digitallifestyle.com and in this video we're going to look at the Acer S5 Ultrabook. It's been around for a little while and um, it's the first time I've had a chance to play with it so I've got to do a little video and look at it. I'm not going to go into too much depth but you, you can get some ideas from it. So you can see, very slim Ultrabook. For comparison, here's my 11 inch MacBook Air, so this is a smaller screen um, as you can see but uh, in terms of thickness See, there's not a lot in it. This is a very thin device, very light. It feels about the same weight there as the as the MacBook Air, but it's got one special little feature that I really like as well, which I'll show you in a moment. So, this is the device. You see, it's very nice, glossy screen. We'll fire it up and have a look in a moment. Check at keyboard, or I like so keyboard. Uh, I'll move the camera around so we can have a look at some of the ports on it. Okay, so here we have the laptop light. It's like I said, very thin, very light. You notice there, uh, there's a headphone port on there, and in the back we've got uh, power, and there we've got SD card. So you notice what's missing? There's no USB ports or HDMI. But this has a really neat little feature, it keeps it nice and slim and tucks the port away. We've got this button here, if I press that, you can see it lowers that out there. And there we've got the port, so we've got HDMI, two USB 3 and a mini display port as well. So, straight away you've got the ports there, but uh, I did enjoy <laughs> playing with this because you press the button. It lowers it down again, and it brings it back up again. Nice little feature, it keeps the back of it very neat and uh, yeah, a bit of fun as well. So this model is the S5, got some of the i5 processor, 1.7 gigahertz, got 4 gig of RAM, 64 bit to, to 64 bit version of Windows 7, not Windows 8, but I guess that's available now. Well, so this is a slightly older machine, and uh, yeah, Windows 7 Home Premium. If we have a look at the experience index, see that uh, it's pretty good on the processor. It's the probably the game graphics at lowest, but uh, overall, not bad experience um, from this from this device. In terms of battery, of Ultrabook, that's a nice, you know, one of the important things. Uh, I've been getting sort of five, six, five and a half hours out of it. So here we have four hours, 48 and 87%. So I'm guessing about five and a half hours and that's pretty much what I've uh, what I've been finding on it. So it's uh, it's pretty good for battery life on there actually. It's not got a um, SSD drive on there, it's got a traditional hard drive on there, sort of a 214 uh, gig hard drive. Um, Ultrabooks should have the solid state drive really, but uh, it's actually pretty fast using it. I've uh, been doing a bit of video editing with it and uh, installed the usual thing like Chrome and uh, bits and pieces like that and found it pretty good. It comes with lots of things installed, not too bad though. Spotify, uh, Office 2010 trial, it comes with McAfee Internet Security, which I'm, I have to say I'm not a fan of. Uh, it would be one of the things that I would install, uninstall and uh, maybe go with Microsoft Solution for that. And it's got things like uh, Cyberlink are on here. Uh, of course it's running uh, Windows 7 Home Premium so you've got Windows Media Center on there as well. So here's Windows Media Center. I did find this, it's got Dolby Home Theater on there. I did find the volume a little bit on the low side. Um, I've been using this to play some video files on and uh, yeah. It's a small thin device so you're not going to get huge volume on there. So if you're looking for something with home theatre sound type sound then you're not going to get that. But uh, for a lightweight device like I said, it's light, it's the same weight as my MacBook Air, it's not a bad option. And you can see the screen, it's hard, probably hard to see on a YouTube video but the screen is nice and nice and uh, glossy and bright. The resolution this running in is... Uh, 36.6 by 768. So I'm just going to connect up. Let's. I'm going to try the, the um, mini display adapter that I use on my MacBook Air. So. 
raise it up. So there we are, I've got it connected up to my monitor there using the mini display port and uh, quite a nice um, option to have that cable and then uh, you, you know you can do the usual thing, extend them around. So I'm actually using the same cable that I use for MacBook Air, so it's quite nice if you're switching devices, you've got the cable there already. So that's a very quick look at the Acer Aspire S5. So it's a slightly older model, running Windows 7, but there's a new model which you can get running Windows 8. As far as for Ultrabook, very nice design, very slim. It's got the thick little connector extender at the bottom there which you notice is disabled I can't retract it while I've got that plugged in I can unplug it and it retracts away I think that's a really nice feature hopefully we've got some more Acer laptops some of the newer Windows 8 ones coming soon more videos on the digitallifestyle.com